One of the absolute worst parts about living in this here truck and that there travel trailer behind me is the absolute billions of dollars you've got to be spending on gasoline to keep yourself fueled up towing all the time. But how much does the speed that you're going down the freeway affect the amount of dollars you'll be spending on gasoline or diesel? Today, we're going to test and find out how a little difference in speed does or does not affect your gas mileage when towing a big vehicle with a big vehicle. Once we make our way to the freeway, I've got about an hour of driving to get myself from where I currently am to when I get home. First, I'm gonna reset our gas mileage so that we're getting a baseline estimate. I'm gonna drive about 20 to 30 minutes, maybe going 55 to 60 miles an hour. And we're gonna see what sort of MPGs we average out to. And then I'm gonna try and bump it up and I'm gonna try and go about 70, 75. And we're gonna see if there's any significant difference in the gas mileage we are resetting currently, boom. All right, we'll see what we get. Righty ho, I just realized I was still in four wheel drive. Resetting again. Ready ho, we are about halfway back getting past, getting a lot of angry looks, and we averaged just over 13 miles to the gallon, 13.1. We are gonna reset the gas mileage again, and then we are gonna continue our journey. Righty ho guys, we only got 12 miles to the gallon on our second stint of driving. Both of the drives were relatively flat, no major up downage either way. A mile per gallon could really add up. You know, for these quick drives going here or there, it's really not gonna make that much of a difference. But if we're talking two, 300, 400 miles cross country nation road trips, that's really gonna start to add up.